Good day, guys. Ping here. Um, today we're going to model uh, this. Okay, so um, we're going to try some different method for this um, um, railing, let's say. Okay, so let's start. For, so first, um, we're going to try the railing uh, using the railing tool. Okay, so first, uh, create a project. So in this project, we're going to use this railing tool. Okay, so um, let's, let's just place one. So we're going to have um, create one from from one of the existing railings. So let's just draw a sketch railing first. So maybe a three meter long. Okay, so finish. And then this is one of the um, default um, uh, type. So let's go to 3D view. Okay, so there are a few different type, right? So um, let's just uh, maybe just go back to this one. So and then let's create a new one. So I'll call it new. And okay, let's start to look at this image so first we, let's have a look of um so all the vertical member will be uh, by a straight okay so one two three and then repeat one two three one two three and all the horizontal members are uh will be the the rate the rating so we see this one so this is a full length and um oh hang on actually so this one's it's it stop it stop here. So which means um, we can't we can't do these two as a rail. Um, let me think. What should we do? Um, maybe we need to do it um, as a panel. So um, actually, let me cancel this one. So instead of from this one, so maybe we can just go back to a glass panel. So which means that uh, part, that uh, this part of horizontal uh, will be something like this. So this is a, a panel, glass panel. So if we go edit, edit type, and I think should be in balustrade. So see this one? So this is actually a, also a balustrade, right? So what we need to do today, uh, I think we need to model this as a, a panel, a balustrade. Okay, so let's do it. Um, um, maybe I'll change this back to this and the still edit type new. And, and okay, I'll just click OK for now. Okay, so this is a new, and what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to draw this profile because I know this one will be the railing, right? This one. Okay, so I'm not sure about the uh, dimension, but um, I'll just roughly create. So create a new family. Uh, we need a profile. Okay, so profile here, and um, let me have a look. I think it will be if we um, we use this edge as um, the sketch. Um, I'm not sure which side I need to draw. Maybe I'll, I'll just uh, guess. Okay, so guess here. So for example, that's uh, 150 maybe, and uh, maybe a uh, 600. Okay, so this is uh, I think yeah roughly it. So. This one, I'll load this into the project, and um, yeah, it's always a good idea to rename it properly, or you can just use save as, but you can also do it this way. So rename it here. So um, I'll call it a uh, profile one, and also the type of it, and rename it profile one. Okay, so now let's go back to 3D view, select this rail, railing, edit type. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, get rid of the balustrade and also the top rail. So top rail, uncheck, and that's it. 
and for the rating, uh, for that rail, rail, you you have options. You can you can use rail structure here. Oops, uh, yeah, delete. So you can do it here, or you can just use the top rail as well. But let's just use this one and hide zero offset default. So change that this to profile one, and you can you can give it a material. So for example. Uh, I'll just go to uh, Material Library and pick a concrete. Okay, so maybe this one. And let's have a look. Okay, so we don't we don't need the balustrade, so I'm going to just change this to none, and all these change them to now as well. And also I'll check this one because we are not going to place this on the stairs. And all good. So click OK, click OK. OK. Where is it? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's just create another one. Oh, no, sorry, not stairs. Rating here. Sketch. One, two. Um, change this to new. Finish. Ah, it's here. And yeah, I'm not sure why it's, it's it disappeared. So S A, that's the only one. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, so this is so if I edit path, so you will see this sketch this sketch line is on the edge of that the uh, rail. Yeah, all well, good. And then the next step is we need to create this as one balustrade. Okay. So let's go family, oh sorry, file, new, family. And we're going to create a, um, I think it would be rating, no, nope, balustrade, I think. Yeah, so it'll be, uh, I think it should be panel. Okay, so it's a balustrade panel. It looks like uh, it can be modeled to you know with a slope but today i don't think we need um, um maybe in case we need that slope i'm going to change this to a uh, hang um, but it's really height slope mm. let me have a look of this so are we going to model this as slope probably not but do we need um yeah let's just make it simple just no we don't let's ignore these so h h i don't think we can delete them because these are a uh, system um reference reference plan or dimension so i'm going to h h just temporarily delete oh no hide hide them so we're going to model this, okay? So model this uh, uh, in here. So it looks like a quite uh, uh, maybe two meter, okay? So two meter. So I'll just change this one to two meter. Ah, uh, it won't let me. So that's fine. We can just do it. Try it here. So two meter apply. Okay. So now we have this. Uh, we can drag this. Okay. So you can go a little bit there. Go there. Okay, so, and also that's the reference line, we can just drag them. Um, okay, so now we can model that. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, just do, I think, I'm going to, what do I use, extrusion or swipe? Yeah, let's do swipe. So, okay, so create swipe. So first, this vertical one, I'm going to use a sketch path, pick plan. Um, actually, let's. We need to go back to floor plan. So I'm go, going to pick plan on this plan. Okay, so on this one. So create, swipe, set. Uh, uh, sorry, which one did I pick? Uh, sketch path, set plan, pick a plan, pick this one. So now we can go to the left or right. So this one, this will be the previous view. And then we can just pick line here. So pick this one. So maybe I'll just use a lock 
okay lock on to this so constraint it onto reference plan and also i'm going to allow this to the this reference line allow to this to reference sorry reference plans okay so uh, and finish and edit profile so now we will go back to the floor plan and draw a profile so it'll be um let me guess uh roughly um uh one hundred 150 by 150 okay so so it will be something like this uh, maybe a little bit bigger so i'll just change this one to 150 change this one to 150 and then select all of them and move to here so uh, let's have a look uh, oh sorry wrong one um, and also this uh, little gap here so and also between these two i think uh, just let's give it a little gap maybe turn the middle okay so finish and also of course you can give it a material so see here so let's just use the same maybe concrete okay so situ oh oh sorry this uh, looks like there's no uh because this is a family so the library will be different anyway uh or we can what we can do is we can just create a material parameter so we can uh, we can uh, assign material in the project so i'll call, just call it a material and okay and okay so all good all good so now we can uh so what i'm going to do is i'll just mirror it to the other side but because we mirrored this so it 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 will um, lose all the constraints so what i'm going to do is i'll just um, once again so first edit work plan i want to pick or still it's still on this work plan that's fine but the work plan of the profile i just want to check that so edit swipe and um I think edit proof oh I think it's okay let's have a look let's have a look if we if we um oh no 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 sorry edit and edit path and go to left or right and this one so this one's not lo it, it lost the constraint so you will see if I move it it won't tell me uh, give me a warning so what I need to do is just align this back onto this reference plan in the lock and do this and do this so make sure you use the reference plan instead of this level so tab yeah this one and pick this point and lock and okay and that's it so these are two uh two of those posts and and if i if i change them with let's have a test so one eight so it will follow this reference plan okay so now <clears throat> now let's do the horizontal one so i'm going to create i'm do, going to uh, use a sweep uh as well so and i'll pick path this time pick this one pick line lock pick this and al and lock and lock so okay edit profile this time go to front or back and we're going to do the same i'll just create so this time we can oh actually um yeah uh, we're going to create one uh cr create in one sweep um oh, sorry uh, i'm going to cr uh, place two profile in this one sweep okay so this uh time i'm going to probably make it uh, 100 by 100 and and then i'm going to move it down to there and also let's have a look at this one so down a little bit and maybe i'll just move it down by 25 okay so and then we're going to copy this one because we have another one here uh, i think the gap can be 500 uh yeah roughly okay so 500 oh that's too big maybe 400 yeah 
maybe 300. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Go up 100. Okay, so that's it because we we're going to have another. Um, if this lift this up, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, let's let's just finish it for now. We can change it later, always. Okay, so I'll finish it, and then let's go to 3D view, and and <clears throat> okay, so it looks like we need to uh, um, adjust the the path. So I'll go to left view. So see, we need to stop here instead of you know allowing to the reference uh, reference plan. So edit sweep. So edit path. So so this one just unlock this one, unlock this constraint and also this one. So I'll, I'll see if we can just uh, um, stop it on. So maybe the this edge, okay, it's because we're not not going to see it inside this uh, post. So maybe I'll just. Uh, Align to this edge of um, geometry. Um, yes, should be okay. Should be okay. So finish and finish. Oh, good. So now let's have a look in 3D view and yeah, it's looking okay. And then we need a last one, um, a vertical, a, a vertical one. So this time, um, maybe we are going to do it differently. So oh. Hang on. We still have a reference plan center one, so we can do a sweep as well. Okay, so let's do a sweep. So sweep, um, sketch path, pick, pick this one, lock, and also I'm going to lock this onto this edge of this uh, horizontal member, and lock this onto this. So now finish. Edit profile, go to the floor plan, and I'm going to just use it'll be the same size of the horizontal one, I think. So it'll be something like this. Just uh, change this to 100, and and I'll move this center to this reference. Okay, so finish and finish. Now go to 3D view, and this is it. So let's have a test. So if I Change this one to turn two two meter, all good. Uh, Fifteen hundred, yeah, okay. So I change it back to two meter. Okay, so now this is it, and then I'm going to assign the material uh, parameter to all these members. Okay, so we can change the material later in the project. So what else can we do? So we have this height. Uh, maybe just have a test of the height as well. So if I change it to one meter height, yeah, all oh, good. And maybe uh, now it looks like we need to. Uh, I'll just quickly change this. Okay, so edit sweep, edit profile, and move it down by 100. And okay, finish, finish. That's it. So now we can load this into the project. Okay, so into the project, and also I'm going to so this uh, should be under um, under rating I think yeah here so let me just rename it so it will be uh, um, uh, what do we call it rail or one so rename this uh, type as well rail O1. one so now let's uh, Go to the 3D view in this project and select this railing and edit type. And um, so I'm going to go to baluster placement and go here, baluster family. So choose that rail 01. And also base on host, which is the so if that's a floor, that would be floor level, which is correct top. Um, host this controls I, I believe this controls the height of that family so maybe I'll change this one to one meter and distance from previous um, uh, I'm not quite sure maybe zero <laughs> okay let's have a test and then uh, we need to repeat it I think we need to repeat it um, this 
distance from so maybe this one need to be two meter yeah um let's have a test I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure so let's click OK click OK oh so okay it looks like um, we need to offset it to you know to align to that thing and then that will be because this one's 150 so and also um, looks like this one what is the floor level I need to place a floor so I can tell where the floor is so if this is a bridge uh, looks like this one's being placed onto this railing okay so um, what do we do yep so we need to move the offset and uh, looks like this is not a one meter anyway um, you should know where to adjust the height right so let's just offset to match the edge of that so edit type so go to plus straight placement so it will be this one I believe let's try negative 75 and I'll see if I, I can control the height the height of this in here so let's try mm, 750 so okay apply okay does it change okay it looks like it changed the whole thing the height of this whole thing um, I think that's fine but looks like it shouldn't be negative 75 it's 75 instead so go there 75 apply okay apply yeah good okay yeah that's better or well, even it cut uh, cut away that part of this panel which is perfect so I think this is it um, and the only thing um, that's not perfect is so you will see it start actually start from here so with the perfect offset and when it end here so we won't be able to have a, a perfect so because all these are fixed all the width of these are fixed two meter and so what we need is probably just work out uh, exactly so maybe 12 meter will be uh, yeah so it looks like we are sh a little bit short so even it, it just need to work out um, what exactly are uh, what's going on here um, okay so let's um, let's have a look of the property of this um, rating go balustrade placement and it looks like so if you look at here so consider this as um, one post so balustrade so it start from here so and this is why we have this offset uh, outside of this uh, rail so what we need to do is we need to offset this one and also this one uh, so the last one would be here so what we need to do is we need to just um, move offset all these um, panels or by straight to you know to the left half roughly half of this width so um, what I think so it's here and here Maybe we can just use center. So if go, you go to here. So justification. Let's try center. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. So it uh, looks like we need. Uh, we have um, one more. One more than uh, what we need. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we only need six. Um, maybe. I think we can do this so we can probably just reduce the the length of this to okay looks like we need more <laughs> let's try so 12 oh four zero uh, no don't it's not right 
let's try this. Oh, sorry, this is one. Oh, it works. So it looks like uh, that this is quite interesting. So it looks like um, one if I it's still okay. And if I type in maybe eight. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, we can we can just adjust this, adjust um, the length of the this um, railing, but at some. See, so at twelve meter uh, we it won't work, and then adjust one one. Nine a zero, yep, it worked. So yeah, it's not very um, easy to to control because all these panels are fixed. The, the 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 size of the panel, so you can actually go to railing. So up here, this one. Let me just double click it. So see, this is a width. So which means you can right click. Let's rename it to meter. Okay, so two, two meter, and you can actually right click and duplicate. So let's just make a eighteen hundred one. So we just need to double click on this and change this one to eighteen hundred. So now you have the option to. So for example, this one's a two meter H. So you can edit type. To, uh, so edit here. So you can change this to eighteen hundred. And instead of two meter distance, so it can change it to eighteen hundred. So click OK, apply. Yeah, it looks like we need we need to adjust the overall uh, length again. So I think it will be um, uh, I don't know <laughs> something like just uh, roughly yeah. So yeah, probably a bit more. But at least you have the option to create a different. So for example, you can duplicate. To another one, 1500. Double click, change the change this to 1500, and then you have the option to place uh, to change change the panel size. Okay, so you can have this one as uh, 1800. You can create another one, duplicate, uh, dupl duplicate. You can call it 1500. And then go to a plus straight, change this to fifteen hundred, and change this to fifteen hundred, and okay, and okay. So now that's different. Okay, so that's it. Um, I I can upload this uh for you, so you can have a look. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.